Okay, I'm switching to uh, my cement roller now <coughs> for my third application on these stars. What I've noticed is that the, the stars are, they're not real round. And I've noticed that uh, that a different shape of star roller uh, may well help that. Help that. Uh, these are all around eight and a half millimeters. Uh, so that's what we're starting with. This is our third application of Toro. We are continuing to use the Toro we had made up in the first application. Uh, so this is 24 hours old and it's still fine. So we'll use this and then maybe some extra. Um, and of course we're using our dry comp here too. So I just have everything ready. Uh, this might be a little bit loud. Not too bad. First thing, of course, is to add a little Toro comp. Get them wetted up. <clears throat> you can see the uh, liquid uh, disperses throughout the stars nicely. It's a little bit gentler rolling action. I think that's one of the things that helps them become round. So it's just a matter of getting them wet to the point of being sticky <clears throat> and then adding dry comp. You can see as they get bigger they're much more forgiving in terms of how much uh, composition you can put on them before they start sticking. Uh, and you also notice how it cleaned up the um, roller drum nicely too. I can see they're getting a little stickier. We probably could use a little bit more Toro. Let them uh, roll enough to distribute that liquid around there. And then give them a little dry comp. You'll notice there's dry comp right up in here that's kind of coming from underneath the pile. That means, of course, that the dry comp has not been picked up completely by the rolling stars, um, and that means that you can use more liquid. The goal here will be to grow these probably to about uh, nine and a half millimeters, which is about, it's real close to three-eighths of an inch. Um, and three-eighths of an inch is what I'm looking for to use these as cores in the one-inch stars. probably cannot see this on the video but when I put in that dry composition uh, you could see the wetter stars which were darker stars uh, and then you could see the dry composition being spread throughout the stars and you notice there was a sound change there too so as they the stars picked up the dry composition um, they became uh, harder and noisier again. Again, if you happen to put on too much of the Toro solution and they get too sticky, then it's just a matter of getting some dry comp in there to dry them up again.
You'll notice quite a bit of dry comp up in here. Let the stars roll a little bit and see if they pick that up as the liquid migrates to the outside of the star. Again, this is about a thousand cores that are in here. I actually uh, did a kind of a quick count and calibration and came up with about 990 stars. So it doesn't look like that many, but there's a lot of stars in there. When these stars get to be uh, one inch in diameter, uh, they probably won't fit in this particular drum. You can see how when they get stickier, the, the pile gets a little bit fatter. It kind of tightens up because they're not rolling as much. And then they start flopping around. We add the dry comp and then the pile elongates out a little bit more. I'm hoping uh, two things will happen. Is first of all, we're gonna, of course, increase the size of the stars, but uh, also I'm hoping that uh, this roller will help round the stars out more than they were. Okay, while they're rolling, we'll look, mix up a little bit more slurry. Take our dry comp. Add some water. Now the stars are a little bit bigger now, so they can take a little bit thicker comp, or slurry. Now remember that this uh, slurry will also get thicker as it sits in, in the uh, adhesive, which I believe is SGRS in here, activates. We'll keep it a little bit thick for now. Plus we'll need some more dry comp. Take a quick look at these stars. 
see what they're doing. You can see that they get wet all by themselves. But yes, they're definitely getting rounder. And they're probably close to the size we want too. about nine and a half millimeters which is exactly what we want so they grew pretty fast and I probably didn't need this extra Toro mix That's about the right thickness for a pile like this. Measure them one more time. Yep, nine and a half millimeters, right where we want them. Yes, they rounded out pretty nice. You can see they're pretty consistent in size. <laughs> 